Hello. Today we will be talking about um, who should get a sexual transmitted infection screen done. Now, as the name says, uh, sexually transmitted infection happens after intercourse. But who are the people who should get screened for STIs? So, somebody who is sexually active at the age of less than 25 years can go for an annual STI screen. Beyond 25 years, if you have multiple sexual partners or if you had a new partner, then it's a good idea to get a sexually trans STI screen done. Now, there's a difference between STD and a STI. So, when we say STD, it means a sexually transmitted disease and generally the patient will have symptoms of sexually transmitted infections which can be foul smelling vaginal discharge which can be lower abdominal pain associated with backache or they can be difficulty in passing urine similarly so with men they can also have symptoms of passing discharge or having painful urination and increased frequency of urination and STIs mostly are basically asymptomatic so you may harbor an infection and you may never know that's why it's called a STI and like previously I said, if you have a sexually transmitted disease, you may have symptoms. The other indications can be somebody who is HIV positive or somebody who's had a sexual intercourse which was forced upon the person. So in that cases, STI screening could be done. Now when you go and see a doctor, some of it, sometimes she does a pap smear for you. So don't presume that a STI screen has been done for you. So if you want to get a STI screen done, which can be as simple as taking a swab from the mouth of the uterus, do specify to your doctor that you want a STI screen to be done apart from getting a pap smear or a cytology done for you. There are other ways also the STI screening can be done. A urine sample can also be taken to screen for STIs. Now there's some set of blood tests which are also done apart from taking a swab from the cervix or from the urethra for men. So some blood tests like, like I said, we test for HIV, we test for hepatitis C, and syphilis. Now most of the times all of us we get vaccinated with hepatitis B and hepatitis A during our childhood. So if you have a history of vaccination you don't need to get tested for hepatitis B or hepatitis A. Hepatitis A is basically fecal-oral transmission which means that it's not sexually transmitted. Hepatitis B is sexually transmitted but most of us have already got vaccination done for hepatitis B. So what do we screen for in a STI is Hepatitis C, HIV and syphilis. And you also know human papilloma virus. This is another sexually transmitted infection. So it's a good idea to go and get a sexually uh, STI screen done uh, if you, you have been sexually active and for the different reasons that I just explained to you in the beginning of the video. Thank you.